Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm altering a little journal book using the beautiful Gilded Lily from Graphic 45. I pulled out a few supplies that I thought I might use. These are all from Cut at Home. This is the Spellbinder Celebrations Pierced Rectangles, and it comes with six dies. They give a beautiful pierced edge to your, your die cut. This is a Penny Black Envision die, and it has the word dream and imagine in such a beautiful font. And here are the journaling and ephemera cards from the Gilded Lily collection. They come with both 3x4 and 4x6. And as you can see, they have a pattern on the back as well, which I'll show you here in a moment. So it's a very soft pattern on the 3x4 cards, and these are just beautiful, such beautiful images on them, and they have some images on the back as well. I also pull out the 6x6 collection, and I flip through it here quickly for you. They have a pattern on one side and a very muted pattern on the second side and of course it all matches perfectly with the collection and here is the 8x8 they have the cut aparts that graphic 45 always includes and some borders that you can cut out and lots of pieces to fussy cut out as well So I'll set all this aside and pull out the notebook. I got this from the dollar store and I knew this would be perfect to alter and give as a gift. Here I'm showing you I pulled out the tags and pockets from the same collection. I might use something from that as well. So I'm just going to measure my piece and cut out a scrap piece that I had from the 12 by 12 collection. And for the back side of my notebook, I'm going to choose a paper from the 8x8s. All of my pieces, I'm going to ink the edges with Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. So I actually went around those pieces twice. I wanted to make sure it really stood out. And now I'm going to adhere them to the front and back cover using Angel Craft in the one quarter inch tape. I'm adding it to all the edges and a little bit in the middle as well. I want to make sure that this is really adhered well. I like to take just the top piece off the backing, center it where I want, and then press that down. And once I've done that, then I can remove the rest of the backing. And that way it ensures that I get it on evenly. So here I'm pulling out a journal card and I chose this one and I'm going to cut out around the inside of the frame using my craft knife and fussy cut around the flowers. For some reason my camera cut off and I apologize about that but it was just simply me using my craft knife going around that entire inside edge and also that middle decorative piece. So those are the two pieces and I'm edging them with Distress Ink as well. And I'm making sure to go around the inside of that frame and also the outside of that frame. Now I decided I wanted another mat on my journal card, so I'm pulling out a piece from the 6x6 and just holding it up to that frame to see what I like best. And then I'm going to use my pierced rectangles to cut that out from my Sizzix Big Shot machine. So I'm pulling out two of the dies, the largest one that actually cuts the rectangle and then the piercing that sits on the inside of it. So I get a really nice pierced edge. And once I get those in place, I'm using a little bit of Scotch Quick Dry to adhere them down so they don't move while I run them through. Here's an up close view of what that piercing looks like. It's very pretty. It gives just a little bit extra to your page. So I'm going to distress the edges as well. And after adding my tape to it, I'm going to adhere it to 
my journal book. First, I guess um, I'm popping up both that frame and inside piece. The inside frame, I wanted it to be popped up completely, so I'm using chipboard to make sure the entire back is covered so it doesn't bend in any way. And then I don't show this all on camera, but I just cut down some of the 3M foam tape and added it to the outside of the frame. So here I cut out several of the flowers from the 8x8 collection, and I knew I wouldn't need this many, but I went ahead and cut them out anyways. That way I had them available, and the ones that I don't use I'll save for a future project. So I'm adhering that 6x6 piece that I cut out at a little bit of an angle, and after removing all the foam tape backing, I'm adding down my frame. And I'm going to distress all those fussy cut flowers out as well. So I'm using my bone folder to just crease the edges of the petals, and that way it gives it a little bit of dimension. So I'm simply going to tuck those in. I'm also going to use some lilies from Wild Orchid Crafts and a few other flowers and decorate my page. So I will let you sit back and I hope you enjoy. Please check out Cut at Home's blog. All the product links will be there along with lots of inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy today's project. 